Hey, today I want to show you this OBD2 scanner, this Ansel AD410. I've been testing it for a couple months right now and I have to admit I'm pretty happy with it. It's a simple OBD2 tester, universal one, that um, covers all the basic functions like checking your fault codes, uh, clearing your check engine light, um, viewing data stream and there's a lot of devices and uh, phone apps that will do just that but this is somehow, somehow better. I have to say that the build quality is very good, I'm not afraid to give it to my kid I'm not worried that he will uh, take the buttons off or something uh, will be broken when he give it back to me there's a micro USB port and a micro USB cable included in the set for uh, software updates and there's no battery inside this is powered, powered through the OBD2 connector and it will turn on as soon as you connect it to your car we have over here about one meter of cable there's a beep that confirms every press you make but you can turn it off in the menu like this okay so the the navigation is pretty simple you have up down um, enter and exit and at the middle you have the EM readiness uh, button which takes you over here with a simple press of a button you can see that you have no DTCs in the car and which tests are passed which are not supported and if there's a check engine light in your car as I said it supports basic functions so you can read and erase codes check uh, system readiness and data streams uh, freeze frame from the moment that the uh, code appeared check your O2 sensors and um, check some vehicle information this is basic stuff and it works really well in this device but the thing that I love the most is the data stream in graphic mode you can select over here up to three up to three values that you are interested in so let's take engine RPM coolant temperature and let's say fuel pressure fuel pressure fuel rail pressure and we have a real-time graph over here let's turn on the engine to see how it how it looks the refresh rate is about 5 Hz I believe maybe 4 Hz and when I rev the car you can see that the uh, graph scales but only on the on the parameter that changes um, above or below the min or maximum positions let's check RPM and boost pressure It also stores the maximum and minimum values from the readout so you can check your car while driving and then later on uh, see on the screen what's your maximum boost pressure or fuel rail pressure and compare on the graph if the maximum values are appearing in the correct moment and if everything is okay with your car. So this is the feature that I'm most impressed with. I had a different scanner to test just before and it continued to crash every time I tried to use the, the graphical data stream. Uh, at the end I just broke the device, it's bricked, not turning on uh, anymore. I will not show you what device it is but uh, I'm just impressed with this one because uh, here this feature works really well. It uh, gives you tons, tons of information about, about the um, engine, uh, engine condition. You can also look up DTC codes. If you happen to remember code, you have to press and hold enter and use the down button to browse through the numbers. This is the single annoying thing about, about this device. But the DTC data, database lookup is pretty useful, so this is as far as I'm going to complain in this video. Okay, I think that's it. If you want to buy one of those, check the link in the description below this video. Check my other videos for more um, diagnostic reviews and uh, tutorials for your car. 
Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this video helped you and see you soon.